Can we find a game? No. Can someone 1v1 me? All right, what is going on YouTube? Fox here, we're coming to you guys here with a brand new video. And in today's video, we're gonna see if we still got people playing World War II. It's also my birthday today. So, you know, I figured that I would put something out for you guys to enjoy on my birthday. So if anyone can guess the, my age down in the comments who wasn't in the stream earlier today, which you guys killed, by the way, thank you once again for today's stream. It was just unbelievable. I. I am floored by the amount of support that we had on stream today. Thank you guys so, so much. But whoever guesses my age right in the comments first, I'll follow you back on any social media that you guys have. In my last video, I asked you guys to drop 150 likes, and you guys smashed that like goal. So, I said we would do a throwback Call of Duty, and I consider World War II a throwback Call of Duty since it's a Call of Duty that came out a couple years ago. I'd say it's a throwback, for at least for my channel, because World War II is the game where I started getting a name for myself in this community and on on YouTube so I hope you guys do enjoy this video also my code foxy is 30% off right now until the 26th of April at gfield.com so if you guys go over to gfield.com use my code you'll get a 30% discount if you use my code tweet me a picture and I will retweet it and I might follow you back so because you guys smashed the like goal before I'll set another one if we can hit 300 likes then I will go back to a last gen call of duty I will go back to either like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, one of those games. I'll do one of those games if we can hit 300 likes. How's that sound? If you guys do enjoy the content and throwback Call of Duties, class setups, and all that good stuff, consider subscribing. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers, and we're getting closer and closer to 93,000 subscribers. Without further ado, let's go, bros. Yeah, so on the end. Oh, let's go. Uh, yeah, I, we'll use the Orso. Oh, God, dude. I, I, oh, holy crap. Wait, hold on. Oh, dude, that's right. Oh, dude, I haven't played console in a pop, dude. Okay. That's right. It's a, one, it's a 1v1 and you get three lives. So, let's see here. Come on. Oh, got me there. Dude, I, I completely forgot about this. This is one of the, like, the cooler parts of this game. Dude, that, it's got, like, no recoil. What the heck? He just sitting on the head glitch, dude. This guy, my man's just sitting on the head glitch. Where'd he go? Oh, he's all the way over there. No, 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 no. No. Oh my god. There's only a couple seconds left. Oh, it's a draw. Dude, that's so weenie. It's bro. No, 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 no. Someone come back here. Someone come back here. I gotta win. I can't believe I didn't win that. Oh, can we play on Tag Flower? Flag Tower. <laughs> a few moments later. I thought we were I thought we were playing Flag Tower. Not sand whatever the fuck. I, I can't stand this map. Free for all on sandbox. Yeah, that's totally what I want to play right now. I just felt like it would be really dude, this FOV. Holy crap. Okay. I just thought it would be really fun to come back and play this game. Not even gonna lie. And plus, you guys did the light goal, so I figured I would come back. A lot of people have actually been asking me to Okay, I got shot from my side. Dude, that's awesome. Dude, there's two bounces. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, call booty World War II. The weapons in this game have like no recoil. It's so weird, actually. It's actually kind of mind blowing now that I see it firsthand. Everyone's kind of like, everyone's kind of like, oh, the recoil in the older COD games is non existent now that we play Modern Warfare. And I'm actually seeing it for myself now. There's an absolute, <laughs> there's no recoil on these guns. It's like no recoil. We're using one of the guns that has the highest fire rate in this game. Uh, now, see, I can't control my stuff, so. It's also just very, very weird playing with controller after I've been playing keyboard and mouse for almost a month now. Pretty much a month straight, pretty much. My thumbs are a little aching right now, are aching a little bit now because I'm not used to playing with a, with a controller. This is actually very weird for me. So we got the whip. And, uh, you know, I actually wanted to use this just because. You know, the last time I did a World War II video, we didn't use the whip. So I figured we would use the whip in this video. Dude, sandbox again? Nope. Okay, so we get sandbox again. And now we get this garbage map Winter Carrington. I can't, I can't, I can't with this game. It, it, this feels really weird, by the way. This FOV, because I've been so used to playing on PC lately that this FOV just feels incredibly weird. Yeah, it looks like they're going to spawn behind us. Oh, hey. Nope. Oh, 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 he, he's up there. Kobe. Goodbye. He's gone. He's done Zobando. Oh. Oh. Okay. Shotguns. Yes. I forgot to switch my streaks, but it's all, it's all good. It's all good. 
So we're on off, and, and I'm not gonna lie, one of the things that World War II did right was the variants and the DLC maps. I know we're not playing on DLC maps because, you know, I don't have the DLC. Because the DLC maps were just sweat fest. There was a couple of really good maps in the DLC, like, I'm trying to think, Stalingrad, and then that's like the, real, the one I really, really liked, and that's the only one I can really think of right now, to be honest with you guys. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, the grease gun is like super underrated. I feel like the grease gun is definitely a nasty gun. Kinda like the sound of this gun as well. I, I know I've said it already, but this is so weird playing on console, dude. It's so weird playing without an FOV, and it sucks. I'm not gonna lie, it kinda sucks. I accidentally didn't switch my streaks, so I'll oh, give me a two-piece. Oh my lord, bro. Oh my goodness. That was nasty. That was actually kind of nasty. I kind of just turned on him right there. I've been having a lot of trouble on keyboard and mouse lately when I've been playing Modern Warfare or Warzone on PC. So I'm honestly thinking about playing Warzone on controller soon. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'd like to switch back and forth to be honest because I don't want to completely abandon my roots. Dude, I'm not even gonna lie. My fingers or like my thumbs and uh, so like that, they're kind of, they're kind of hurting, man. Like. Loki, I haven't, I just haven't used my thumbs for playing on a controller in almost a month, which is kind of crazy. So, oh, oh my goodness. So it's just crazy for me at least to be playing on controller right now. It's just a little bit different. So I'm trying to get used to it. I gotta get back into it though. I definitely have to play controller for sure. I've actually had this theory for a while and I'll give credit to Zach because uh, Zach actually approached me about this one day and Zach is like one of the regulars on the channel He's like one of my good friends now He's told me that he thinks that there are bots that are playing World War II now and honestly There's times where I honestly feel like that there are and when I say bots I mean that there's programmed veteran bots in multiplayer. I know that sounds super weird It sounds like a tinfoil hat theory, but I'm, I'm dead serious, bro. Okay, so we're on St. Marie Dumont I mean, yeah, St. Marie Dumont, which is actually like a really dope map. I actually kind of like this map. I, it, this is still very weird for me to play, considering that I can't remember what the FOV is. But I love the MG81. This LMG is awesome. This has, the, actually, this LMG has the potential to be one of the best LMGs in the game, to be honest. Hold on, I'm actually going to run back here. Wow, dude, you're so good, bro. All right, let's go, baby. We're playing on London Forest. I mean, London Docks. I mean, Arden Forest. I mean, Arden Docks. Yo, we're playing on the second best map in this game, London Docks. I actually love London Docks. If they were to remake this map and put it in a new Call of Duty, I wouldn't complain at all. If they were to put this map in Modern Warfare 2019, I would not complain one bit. We're using the STG, one of my favorite variants of the STG. Can't remember what it's called, but it's super clean. Dude, fire shotguns, really? There we go, nice triple. There we go. No one's moving now. Love that. Dude, come on, someone move. Okay, maybe he's not, maybe he went back up top. I don't know, maybe he tried to flank. No, he's done. This is so weird, people just don't move. Dude, look at what Modern Warfare has done to Free For All. It just, it made it just such a camp fest. No, screw you and your shotgun! No, yours can't go that far. Yeah, that's why you die. That's right. Yep, nope. My god. This is what I'm talking about, bro. The kids that play like this, it makes this game so annoying, bro. It makes this game so annoying to play. No. No. Goes up. No! Dude! Stop using shotguns! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> the fact that kids are really just running around on this game with the fire shotguns or with the shotguns is crazy to me. 
And see, this is where the switching the class in the middle of the game comes in handy for Modern Warfare. Because I would switch my class to armored so freaking quick, bro. I hope that that's in future Call of Duty games from now on. Being able to switch your class mid-game. Recon flight 